Om Shri Ganeshaya Namaha. Dharmavir Sambhaji Maharaj. Chhatrapati Sambhaji Maharaj was a true Dharmavir, who just like his father Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, did not bow before Aurangzeb although Aurangzeb brutally tortured Sambhaji Maharaj for more than 40 days. Hindus must learn how to sacrifice for Dharma from Sambhaji Maharaj. He was a scholar of Sanskrit language. He single-handedly fought with the massive army of Aurangzeb for nine years. He and Maratha rulers after him kept Aurangzeb in Maharashtra for 27 years, which finally resulted in the establishment of Hindu rule in North India. Sambhaji Maharaj also fought with the Portuguese in Goa, as they were orchestrating the mass conversions of Hindus and had demolished Hindu temples in Goa. The detailed information about Sambhaji Maharaj is as follows. Early life. Sambhaji Maharaj lost his mother Sai Bai at the age of two. After her death, his paternal grandmother Jijabai looked after him. Initially his stepmother, Soyarabai, also doted on him a lot. Sambhaji Maharaj was a tiger cub in the true sense. He was extremely handsome and possessed immense bravery. He was a scholar of Sanskrit and eight other languages. In 1666, he was married to Yesu Bai, and later the couple had a son, Shahu. On June 6, 1674 at the time of the coronation of Shivaji Maharaj, he was declared the prince of the sovereign Maratha kingdom. Many visiting dignitaries at the coronation ceremony have written about his acumen, intelligence, personality and most important of all, his modesty. As a prince, Sambhaji Maharaj proved his bravery and military brilliance on more than one occasion. He led and won his first war at Ramnagar at the age of 16. During 1675-76 he led successful campaigns in Goa and Karnataka. Estrangement and reconciliation with his father. The politics fueled by the wife Soyarabai, of Shivaji Maharaj, with some other courtiers led to Sambhaji Maharaj's estrangement. For almost one year, Sambhaji Maharaj left Shivaji Maharaj's kingdom and joined Aurangzeb's commander, Dilar Khan as part of politics. This came as a rude and extremely sad shock to Shivaji Maharaj. This process caused further widening of the rift between Sambhaji Maharaj on one side, and Soyarabai on the other. As a result, Sambhaji Maharaj was not invited for Rajaram's wedding and moreover he was not even informed of the sudden death of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj a few days thereafter. Rajaram was the child of Shivaji Maharaj and Soyarabai. Coronation Soyarabai and her supporters plotted to arrest Sambhaji Maharaj at the fort of Panhala, where he was staying at the time of Shivaji Maharaj's death. They wanted to crown Rajaram and not allow Sambhaji Maharaj to become the Maratha emperor. However Sarnobad, the supreme commander of the Maratha forces, and Soyarabai's brother, Hambirao Mohite supported Sambhaji Maharaj since he was the rightful heir to the throne. At the time of Shivaji Maharaj's death, there was news of an impending attack of Aurangzeb's army on Maharashtra and at such a crucial juncture, a strong leader like Sambhaji Maharaj was the need of the hour. Therefore, Hambirao did not support his own sister and sided instead with Sambhaji Maharaj. Inaji Datto Sabnis and other courtiers namely Hiroji Bosale, Farjad, Balaji Avji and Rupaji Main were arrested for supporting Soyarabai and were punished in a rather cruel way, by being killed when trampled upon by war elephants. It was chiefly because of Hambirao's support that Sambhaji Maharaj was able to ascend to his rightful place on the Maratha throne in 1681. Thanks for watching.